What's up, YouTube? John, JDS Outdoors, welcome back to the channel. And I know I said I was going to be putting out videos, or trying to, every day. But who would have thought during this whole crisis we got going on that there would be um, an uptick in construction. So, I've actually been pretty busy at work. But today outside it's raining and snowing. Yesterday was 70 degrees, today is in the 20s. Gotta love bipolar weather. Anyways, I'm going to show you what today's project is and kind of what's been going on over the last week here at the shop. Other than making a mess, we've been doing some pretty exciting things. So uh, let's show you that. So other than making a mess here in the garage, I finally cut some aluminum on the plasma table. And I was pretty nervous about it at first, and I don't know why, because it actually cut extremely well. Um, I was pretty happy with it. These little uh, designs you see here, they get bent at, uh, at an angle, and then you mount them on a 6x6 six six for your deck, keep the squirrels off your bird feeders. That's what those are for. Um, and then I've also made some uh, solar-powered LED house numbers uh, over here out of some aluminum. So you take this template here, and you bend it up, and solar powered house numbers. I will insert photo here, so you can see what it looks like. Also, today's project is, when you cut on uh, CNC, or uh, uh, cut on plasma actually, it creates a lot of dust. And also when you cut aluminum, it creates a lot of vapor, a lot of smoke. So I need a way to get all of that smoke and exhaust out. So my plan is, is that window right there and that board right there is to put an exhaust fan in that window. And now this is a single pane window for those of you who know what single pane windows are. It's just, uh, just a piece of glass with some glazing in it. So all you got to do is cut the glazing out and you have... Uh, a free piece of glass or if you break one vice versa you can take the measurement to a hardware store cut your new piece of glass go ahead and put yourself one in there and glaze it back in that's how it works it's pretty easy so we're gonna cut that sheet of plywood to the size of that window and cut a hole in the middle of the plywood in the middle of that window and put a fan in there and I want it in that one initially I thought about putting it in that one but if you stand back and look, the window over there is across the table. So it's going to draw air from across the table towards that window. And this one's kind of at like the 75% mark. So it's only going to, I mean, it'll draw across the table, but I feel like it's going to miss over here. So that's one of my thoughts. Also, in the opposite corner here, there's a wood stove. So in the winter time, it's going to draw air from the wood stove all the way across the shop to help warm it up. So kind of another thought I had with that. But let's go ahead and check out the, uh, the fan that we bought. get a kick out of that from Amazon. Look at all that free space. Could have saved so much by putting it in a smaller box. Tornado 10-inch uh, exhaust fan. They say it'll pull about 950 CFM. Let's check it out. On the back side, it's got a nice little cage there. Pretty good looking motor. 
like uh, it's like they need a conduit fitting right there. We'll check that out a little later. And it's got the shutters on it that open up and close to help keep bugs out and stuff. But looks like there's a little bit of a gap up top here. Might have to figure out some sort of screen we can make around that just to help keep bugs out. That should be pretty easy. Another project we can do. Let's go ahead and get uh, that wood measured out or the window cut so we can get this bad boy installed. All right, let's start off by going to the hardware store here. See if we can't find that conduit piece that we need. For the fan. Oh, they're right there. That'll do us. Sweet. All that without having to leave home, which apparently right now is important. Go ahead and get this uh, window measured out so we can see how big we need to cut that plywood. Now we have our wood piece cut and also the fan hole cut. Fan obviously isn't mounted yet, but that's what it's going to look like on the outside. We'll go ahead and run a bead of some wonderful caulk around that to help seal it. So now, we'll turn our attention to removing that piece of glass. Let's uh, head outside and do that. Holy crap. Remember, it was 70 degrees yesterday. Let's check out this window. Here's what I was talking about with the, the glazing. We're just going to remove that and this glass should pop right out of here.
Here we have it from the outside, mounted in. I tried to save that piece of glass, but I'm sure you saw it in the video. It uh, didn't quite work. It's also extremely old glass. Um, and I forgot a little tab on one side, so it kind of broke, but that's okay. Because a new piece of glass that size is like 10 bucks. So, not too worried. If I ever want to put it back in, I can. So, I got it all sealed up. Hopefully it dries sometime in the next year, being that it's cold out. But let's go ahead and get this thing hooked up. All right, back inside, we got it wired up. I didn't show how I wired it because I'm not an electrician. I just followed, uh, followed the rules, positive to positive, negative to negative, and neutral to neutral. You get the gist. But I wired it up to this switch here, and I got an outlet right here. So let's go ahead and plug it in. and see if it works. Would you look at that? That is pretty quiet. You can still hear me talking. That is pretty slick. So there is the exhaust fan. I guess let's go ahead and get this uh, table cut off and finish off this project by cutting something, seeing if this thing actually does what it's supposed to, and uh, get something fixed at the same time. I'm going to make the screen that goes outside around that to help keep bugs out because that's not completely tight. So let's go ahead and draw up a screen, cut it out of this here aluminum, bend it up, and install it. I can't finish off a video without having at least some CNC cut footage in it, right? Well, here we go. Alright, we have the file, let's go ahead and cut it. File loaded up in the computer, metal is set, let's go ahead and turn on the fan and cut this puppy out. First time you guys saw aluminum be cut here on this channel. Let's check it out. Didn't do too bad of a job. Let's go ahead and get the uh, little chunks there cleaned off and bend it up. All right, so the old bender there will only get it that far. Not a huge deal. It's aluminum, it's soft, so we're gonna go ahead and finish bending it by hand, and then we can install the screen. But you get the idea, and what we're trying to do here 
make a bug screen to go over the fan. But so far, it's looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and get this bent up, show you what it looks like. Alright, now we got the old cover bent up, ready to go. Fairly nice corners. I mean, had to do a little love tapping with a hammer to get that bend over, but it's just a just a bug cover. Nothing too uh, crazy, but you get the gist. So now, we're going to go ahead and put some screen, some aluminum screen, in there. And uh, fasten it with some screws, because I want it to be replaceable, or cleanable if possible so I'll just run through it and then show you as I do it we're gonna roll out some screen crossed here and then uh, we're gonna put some pieces on either side a couple screws holding it in and that should be about it for the screen cover to keep bugs out of here so uh, once again enjoy the awesome music have that let's go ahead and uh, throw it outside see if it works you ready for this crazy weather it's insane look at that 70 degrees yesterday let's go ahead and put her up she is in all her beautiful glory let's go ahead and turn uh, turn the fan on make sure everything opens up how it's supposed to and that wraps up this project survey says still opens heck yeah well that about wraps up today's episode here at JDS Outdoors. Hopefully I'll have some more coming soon. I've heard uh, a few people ask um, how come I don't do any like fishing videos or stuff like that. So I think I might have a little fishing video coming up. Maybe. We'll see. Once the weather turns around. It's supposed to be back in the 70s again next week. So look forward to that. But that's it. And as always... Thanks for watching JDS Outdoors.